The opinions and interpretations expressed in this and other videos are that of Marty Huey and may not be representative of his colleagues and employer. The videos cover overlapping requirements of codes, standards, and regulations. Your situation will require full analysis beyond the concepts presented here. Standpipe location. Reach distance is 200 feet. So you must be able to access a standpipe within 200 feet. Let's start off on the second floor with drawing a stair in two of the corners. Now this is all revolving around healthcare, particularly I2 occupancy. So exit travel distance out of I2 is 200 feet with the fact that every exit stair shall have a standpipe located within it and most jurisdictions would like that standpipe located at its intermediate landing. This makes it fairly simple. So our travel distance and our access to a standpipe are both 200 feet. In other healthcare occupancies other than I2, in B occupancy, our travel distance is 300 feet. Therefore, you will need additional standpipes in order to access a standpipe within 200 feet. Just because the travel distance to an exit increases does not mean the travel distance to a standpipe has increased. Now let's take this to the first floor. We'll draw a lobby and two stairs. Now some of this is not unique to healthcare. Our stairs will have an exit out. Not necessarily will we have access from that floor to the stair. So we will not have access to the standpipe inside the stair. Our exits out may be exiting directly to the outside at various locations on the ground floor. Therefore, we need to think about where standpipe locations are located so we can reach one within 200 feet. More particularly, what I have seen in various buildings is the lobby is forgotten about and a standpipe really should be located fairly close to the entrance. Additional standpipe topics are coming in forthcoming videos, i.e. horizontal exits. Please post or email comments on what you've seen. Suggestions for future topics are also welcome. Marty enjoys learning from the experience of others. More videos will be added, which can be found at MartyHuey.com.